Halls have been responsible for more than a thousand hospital admissions in Hull over the past year. But now a new partnership initiated by NHS Hull CCG is working with one of the community's most trusted services firefighters to come to the rescue. The new Falls Rapid Response Team aims to get to non-emergency Falls patients within an hour, get them back on their feet and restore their confidence and independence to remain safely in their own home. When Stanley Fieldhouse had a fall, his confidence was shattered. I was down rock bottom. I really was. I thought you know, I didn't want to have had enough anyway. It happened upstairs, so he had no choice but to remain up there, too heavy to be lifted down. But when NHS Hull CCG developed a new response to falls, Stanley's life was put back on track. And it wasn't just medics who came to his aid, it was firefighters. We formulated a plan, I was getting get, I was getting down, got the right bits of equipment that we needed. Um, and then when everybody else turned up, we sort of um, put it all together, didn't we? And then we, yeah. we got him downstairs quite, quite easily, to be honest. And gradually I've got moving again, you know, and uh, got back to wanting to live again, you know, because uh, I really was, I was really down. And uh, I can't thank them enough for what they've done. The Hull First Falls response team is based at East Hull Fire Station. These firefighters are already used to dealing with trauma and first aid. Now they're trained to assess patients' homes to prevent them from falling again. Quite often someone has sort of fallen in, in the middle of the night and they've been on the floor for some time and, and they need a little bit more care. Um, and we basically give them a, a bit of an assessment and pass that information back to the Yorkshire Ambulance Service or CHCP and then they sort of give us an idea of what they want us to do with that casualty. This is the team's operations room. 85-year-old lady, um, fallen, um, assess and take observations. The ambulance service refers non-emergency patients to the new falls service, who can reach them within an hour. In their first month, the Falls response team were called out to homes like Stanley's 82 times, and that figure is expected to rise. They're already easing pressure on local health and urgent care services across the city. It's been working really well because their first response, they can go out and initially pick the patient up, see what they want, and then they'll put the referral into me, and then I'll go out with bits of equipment to make them even safer. The project's part of Hull 2020, a Hull CCG-led strategy to encourage communities to take control of their own health. It's a city with health inequalities and low life expectancy, so the CCG had to look at the bigger picture. And the reason why people are unhealthy is because of, of poverty, lack of opportunity, um, lack of leisure, sporting facilities, educational facilities, housing, transport. All those things are part of people's health. And without looking at all of those things, we're only looking at a tiny amount of it. So like 20% of someone's health is to do the interaction they have with a medical professional. The rest of it is all that stuff that comes before and afterwards that we really have to... The only way we can tackle that is by working together. We were looking for ways that we could um, find different partners, really improve our community resilience and make sure that we had services wherever possible working together to reduce duplication and to make sure that we could get the right response to people in our city the first time. As key Hull 2020 partners, firefighters are getting involved in other health schemes. They're encouraging men to look out for symptoms of a big killer, prostate cancer. And they're using a blue fire engine to raise awareness throughout the fire service and the city as a whole. We're not just sticking in a traditional service in Hull. All of the organisations in Hull are working to make sure people can look after their own health and well-being effectively. And we can work together as public services to use the resources we've got as effectively as possible. And for Stanley Fieldhouse, that effective model of care is working, allowing him to enjoy a better life with the people he loves.